А тому нашою найпершою метою має бути не допускати свиней у наш господарський дім. Who controls the past controls the future. Who controls the present controls the past. The real division is not between conservatives and revolutionaries, but between authoritarians and libertarians. One does not establish a dictatorship in order to safeguard a revolution. One makes the revolution in order to establish the dictatorship. I would sooner have had that kind of upbringing than be like the left-wing intellectuals who are so enlightened that they cannot understand the most ordinary emotions. One wants to live, of course. Indeed, one only stays alive by virtue of the fear of death. But I think, as I thought then, that it is better to die violently and not too old. The ruling power is always faced with the question, in such and such circumstances, what would you do? Whereas the opposition is not obliged to take responsibility or make any real decisions. Political or military commentators, like astrologers, can survive almost any mistake because their more devoted followers do not look to them for an appraisal of the facts, but for the stimulation of nationalistic loyalties. They were governed by private loyalties, which they did not question. What mattered were individual relationships and a completely helpless gesture, an embrace, a tear, a word spoken to a dying man could have value in itself. Він став соціалістом, набагато пізніше, ніж думають. Однак навіть у колгоспі тварин щиро відкидав думку, що ніби рівність обов'язково заперечує свободу. Навпаки, він доводив, що лише рівноправне і братерське суспільство здатне забезпечити простим людям достатньо свободи. If he were allowed contact with foreigners, he would discover that they are creatures similar to himself and that most of what he has been told about them is lies. The sealed world in which he lives would be broken, and the fear, hatred, and self-righteousness on which his morale depends on might evaporate. The essential act of war is destruction, not necessarily of human lives, but of the products of human labor. War is a way of shattering to pieces, or pouring into the stratosphere, or sinking in the depths of the sea, materials which might otherwise be used to make the masses too comfortable, and hence, in the long run, too intelligent.